Heavy rain's been wreaking havoc on the west coast of the South Island, flooding homes and leaving dozens of motorists stranded. The worst of the downpour has been centred around Greymouth, causing the Grey River to breach its banks. And a farmer had to be plucked from a raging torrent by emergency services while rescuing sheep on his farm near Cold Creek. Annabelle Tukia has more. Locals are calling it the worst flooding in 20 or 30 years. Flood waters are lapping at homes. Stock have been left with nowhere to turn. The speed in which the waters rose took many by surprise. By about seven, it started covering the paddocks. By about half past ten, it covered the road. And we've just been locked in ever since. Betty and Mason Woolhouse have lived at Totara Flat for 50 years. Their garage is partially submerged. The floodwaters are licking at their home. They don't remember it ever being this bad. When it gets up to that brown, it could come in, but it might just miss us. Near Cole Creek, it became a case of the rescuer requiring rescue. An elderly farmer nearly drowned trying to save sheep from this flooded paddock. Emergency services plucked him and his dogs from the water. The deluge caused long delays for motorists, with sections of State Highway 6 and 7 being closed due to slips and flooding. I've got to go back to Nelson to um, work at Ramsdale School tonight. The delays were eased by typical West Coast hospitality, a local farmer taking this group of stranded motorists in. They've given us lunch, mm -hmm. cups of tea, cups of tea, and we've had met everybody. Had it's been a great time. <laughs> The real concern will be later tonight. 250 millimetres of rain has fallen in the last 24 hours and emergency services are on high alert. Annabelle Tsukia, 3 News.